funny, uh, you know, I've known Don for a long time, you know, in 1993 when the store opened uh, across the street. I worked here, and Don was, you know, one of the first customers, and we became friendly that way, and he was a big, you know, movie producer, but he wasn't above, like, letting me pitch stuff to him. <laughs> and I uh, remember, you know, he was listening and taking me seriously, even though, you know, I'm just a kid working in a comic book store. It was Johnny Sacco, right? It was Johnny Sacco. Yeah, I remember and, that. You know, and I'm telling him about Johnny Sacco's, and he's, and he's saying, ah, uh, you know, uh, I'm saying, like, uh, this is every kid's dream. And you're saying, well, what do you mean by that? You know, and pushing, being skeptical the way a movie producer should. And I'm saying, well, you know, he is his own giant robot, and adults need him in order to save the world. And you were starting to break down a little bit. And you're like, yeah, you know, I see where you're going with this, Tom, and it makes some sense, but I don't know. Giant robots? <laughs> <laughs> Un undoubtedly, I'm sure that's what I said. But I do remember, then didn't we track down the videos or something? Because I do remember at one point taking a stab at trying to figure out who in Japan owns it. Mm -hmm. And not being able to, you know, the guy, was it like Yoshi, Yoshiyama? Mitsutaro Mitsu Yokohama. Yokohama. Who died. Uh, who, who, who died, I think, while I was trying to figure out. And then it was mm -hmm. like, oh man, who, you know. So yeah, I do, I do remember you pitching it. I'm sure I was like, giant robots? And then, yeah. yeah. But it's just <laughs> ironic now yeah. when giant robots are making $183 million this opening weekend. Well, not me you know. personally, but yes. <laughs> so you, you really want, you still want to do that? Uh, Johnny. Uh, Johnny Sacco, you know, there's a lot of... What uh, is Johnny Sacco? Johnny yeah. Sacco's giant, that's the, the robot that has the Egyptian pharaoh head. Um, it was a live action uh, show in the 60s, and uh, it was uh, translated into English and shown in America, and it was really popular, and the kid would control the giant robot through his watch. And once the watch was activated, it, the, the robot would only obey that voice pattern. It had similar wish fulfillment to uh, Tetsujin 28, uh, Gigantor. Well, it's the same creator. Yeah. He came oh, after that, good. and uh, you know, a boy who controls his own giant robot. And uh, I still think it's a good idea, so. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, so, happened, what, yeah. whatever happened to giant robots, you know? I mean, it really, you, hadn't, you didn't see them, you, you know, like when I was a kid, I remember seeing like black and white giant robots, and then they went well, away. Well, I mean, like the Transformers, most of the giant robots come from Japan. You know, the Transformers right. came from uh, you know, the toy lines Micro Man and Diaclone, which were sort of on the tail end there, and Hasbro made it work. And part of the reason for the success in America was the synergy of having the TV show right. that you worked on, you know, promote the toys and, and vice versa. And kids getting excited about playing with the toys, wanting to watch the TV show. Whereas before that, with Mego doing Micronauts and Mattel doing the Shogun Warriors, you didn't see the same level of success. Right. you know, because they weren't character toys. They were just toys, whereas these, you know, you know, the Shogun Warriors were beloved in Japan. You know, these were prime time shows that adults watched. And I think part of the reason for the success of the Transformers TV show is it doesn't suffer from a loss, you know, a, you know, lo something, nothing's lost in the translation right. because mm -hmm. it's originated here, whereas Japanese animated shows, you know, giant robot shows translated into English you know, their heart and soul is gutted out. And, you know, kids pick up on that, you know, that something's missing. Well, it also helps with that, that it takes place on Cybertron, you know, and, you, you know, which is like, well, no one can really relate to that. So, you, so, so everyone can. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have a question.